stay safe outdoor during and after a winter storm. Stay safe outdoors. Try to stay indoors during extremely cold weather. Make any trips outside as brief as possible, and remember these tips below to protect your health and safety. Dress warmly and stay dry. Adults and children should wear 1. A hat 2. A scarf or knit mask to cover face and mouth 3. Sleeves that are snug at the wrist 4. Mittens, they are warmer than gloves 5. Water-resistant coat and boots 6. Several layers of loose-fitting clothing Layer up Stay safe outdoor during and after a winter storm 1. Inner layer, wear fabrics that will hold more body heat and don't absorb moisture. Wool, silk, or polypropylene will hold more body heat than cotton. 2. Insulation layer, an insulation layer will help you retain heat by trapping air close to your body. Natural fibers, like wool, goose down, or a fleece work best. 3. Outer layer, the outermost layer helps protect you from wind, rain, and snow. It should be tightly woven, and preferably water and wind resistant. To reduce loss of body heat additional tips 1. stay dry wet clothing chills the body quickly 2. excess sweating will cause your body to lose more heat so remove extra layers of clothing whenever you feel too warm 3. avoid getting gasoline or alcohol on your skin while the icing and fueling your car or using a snow blower getting these materials on your skin will cause your body to lose a lot more heat 4. do not ignore shivering it's an important first sign that your body is losing heat. Constant shivering is a sign that it is time to go inside. 5. If you have asthma, breathing in cold, dry air can trigger an asthma attack. Talk to your doctor about how you can prevent asthma attacks when outside in winter weather and remember to follow your asthma action plan. Know the signs of frostbite and hypothermia. Hypothermia Hypothermia, abnormally low body temperature, is a dangerous condition that can happen when a person is exposed to extremely cold temperatures. In adults, warning signs of hypothermia include shivering, exhaustion or feeling very tired, confusion, fumbling hands, memory loss, slurred speech, and drowsiness. In babies, signs include bright red, cold skin, and very low energy. If you notice any of these signs, take the person's temperature. If it is below 95 degrees Fahrenheit, the situation is an emergency, get medical attention immediately. Frostbite Frostbite is a type of injury caused by freezing. It can lead to a loss of feeling and color in the areas it affects, usually the nose, ears, cheeks, chin, fingers, and toes. Frostbite can permanently damage the body, and severe cases can lead to amputation, removing the affected body part. Signs of frostbite include a white or grayish yellow skin area, skin that feels unusually firm or waxy, and numbness. If you notice signs of frostbite, seek medical care. Stay off the ice. Walking on ice is extremely dangerous. Many injuries related to cold weather happen from falls on ice-covered sidewalks, steps, driveways, and porches. Keep your steps and walkways as free of ice as possible by using rock salt or another chemical to icing compound. Sand may also be used on walkways to reduce the risk of slipping. Avoid exerting yourself, and stay safe during cleanup. Cold weather puts an extra strain on the heart. If you have heart disease or high blood pressure, follow your doctor's advice about shoveling snow or performing other hard work in the cold. Otherwise, if you have to do heavy outdoor chores, dress warmly and work slowly to avoid excess sweating. Remember, your body is already working hard just to stay warm, so don't overdo it. Be safe during outdoor activities. 1. Let your friends and family know where you will be before you go hiking, camping, or skiing. 2. Do not leave any areas of your skin exposed to the cold. 3. Try not to sweat or become too tired. 4. Be prepared to take emergency shelter. 5. Pack dry clothing, a two-way radio, waterproof matches, and paraffin fire starters with you. 6. Do not use alcohol and other mood-altering substances, and avoid caffeinated drinks. 7. Avoid walking on ice or getting wet. 8. Carefully watch for signs of cold weather health problems, like hypothermia and frostbite. Be careful while traveling. 1. Listen for radio or television reports of travel advisories issued by the National Weather Service external icon. 2. 
Do not travel in low visibility conditions. 3. Avoid traveling on ice-covered roads, overpasses, and bridges if at all possible. 4. Never pour water on your windshield to remove ice or snow, this can cause your windshield to shatter. 5. If you must travel by car, use tire chains and take a mobile phone with you. If you must travel, let someone know your destination and when you expect to arrive. Ask them to notify authorities if you are late. 6. Check and restock the winter emergency supplies in your car before you leave. 7. Always carry extra warm clothing and blankets with you. Don't rely on the car to provide enough heat. The car could break down. If you get stranded. Staying in your car when stranded is often the safest choice if winter storms create poor visibility or if roadways are ice covered. These steps will increase your safety when stranded. 1. Tie a brightly colored cloth to the antenna as a signal to rescuers and raise the hood of the car, if it is not snowing. 2. Move anything you need from the trunk into the passenger area. 3. Wrap your entire body, including your head, in extra clothing, blankets, or newspapers. 4. Stay awake. You will be less vulnerable to cold-related health problems. 5. Run the motor, and heater, for about 10 minutes per hour, opening one window slightly to let in air. Make sure that snow is not blocking the exhaust pipe, this will reduce the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning. 6. As you sit, keep moving your arms and legs to improve your circulation and stay warmer. 7. Do not eat snow because it will lower your body temperature. 8. Huddle with other people for warmth. Thanks for watching.